what is up my beautiful beautiful people um <laughs> really quickly i just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you to my new subscribers i really appreciate you coming on in to my universe and obviously you got a vibe so you subscribe and i really appreciate that i really do um second i was talking to a beautiful sister earlier today and we were talking well she had mentioned how um you know some some women and we as black women definitely you know uh, need to hold ourselves accountable when it comes to our our sisters because you know if you're promoting a specific message of you know hey this guy is taking me on trips and this guy is giving me money and this guy is you know but you're not telling the full spectrum of it that you are going through hell to get this money or you're going through hell so to speak, to um, go on these trips, we need to hold ourselves accountable and say, hey, yeah, I'm getting this money, but this is what I had to do to get it. And a lot of times it's not quote unquote positive things that are being done to get this money or get these trips. But anyway, that's what my, my sister was talking about. And so I got to thinking how I've been there, done that. You know what I mean? I've had, you know, people in my life who were living that type of lifestyle and I was seeing all of the things that they were getting and I was just like, man, you know what I'm saying? How could I, you know, get that? Or I want that. At least that's what I thought. And I can remember putting myself in certain situations that, you know, were not comfortable. And I can remember that feeling like this not this ain't right. You know what I mean? And I can remember being in certain spaces and the feeling like, hey, you need to get out of here. You know, it just didn't feel right. And so that brought me to this topic of really really zoning in to that inner voice voice which is your inner voice which we call your higher self your higher consciousness um really tap into that because if any of you out there are in situations like this to where you are subjecting yourself to some very derogatory type things because you want money or because you want trips and you want this particular lifestyle that looks amazing on social media but you know that you're uncomfortable and you know that you are putting yourself in positions that are just not maybe not even safe for you you know what I mean and just not healthy for your inner self you know zone into that if you're feeling like you're not supposed to be doing this i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be and i'm not saying like you're not supposed to do this is a free will universe you could come and go as you please you could dip in and dip out whenever you want to all i'm saying is when it comes to spiritual growth and when it comes to your own personal life journey and your growth if you are truly seeking growth and you feel that that you're not something ain't right you need to listen to that because like i said I, I can remember being in certain situations i chose to be in those situations free will universe i chose to but then when i got in it it's like my spirit was like um i shaded that looked up at the time and i was at 444. <laughs> Yeah, that's been the numbers, man. The universe been speaking. Or should I say the ancestors? But it's whatever you want to call it. But anyway, 
So yeah, and I can remember putting myself in certain situations and I was just like, my was so uncomfortable in these in these spots. It just to the point where I was like getting instant headaches and I was getting instant headaches and I would feel very nauseous and my stomach would just turn like my spirit was saying get out of here or why are you doing this this is not the life for you you know and so it took many years you know I, I didn't always do things like that but what I'm saying is it took years to get to a point to where I was like you know what you need to listen to that voice. You need to listen to yourself because you will never steer yourself wrong. When I say wrong, you know. And I do that because like that Kabbalion, that book, let me tell y'all something. I do believe I shared some uh, pages out that Kabbalion. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> If you have not yet read the Kabbalion, I highly, and you're on this journey of enlightenment, I highly recommend that book. Highly recommend it. The Hermetic Principles. Because it puts so many things, and I got a meeting in like 10 minutes. But anyway, this whole concept of time, it pisses me off. Because I'm a person that just like to flow how it flow. But you know, anyway. But yeah, it puts so many things into perspective in this reality that we're living in. You know, again, how I was saying, zoning into your uh, that inner voice and how we can put ourselves in like toxic situations. But like it talks about the pendulum, the force, the same equal amount of force to one side, you're going to get to the other side. So it's like... You're going to experience some toxic situations in order to, you know, swing back to the healthier side. So anyway, I, I just I wanted to thank my sister, Urban Mystic. Go check her out on uh, IG. Very beautiful sister. Very enlightened. She's on a very, very um fulfilling journey i can see it she's just she's amazing so anyway i credit her for bringing up this idea within myself um uh, from her ig post that she posted so again urban mystic go check her out but anyway y'all that's all i wanted um i got a meeting like i said in 10 minutes and i'm headed to the gym after that um this has been a very 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 I don't want to say th this has just been an eye-opener time for me especially with constantly going to the gym and you know while I'm in there I can really it's like everything becomes aligned you know and it's just that's another video <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to share that message with y'all again if you feel that uneasiness you know your ego is telling you no let's go over here but spirit is like uh-uh come on let's dip i would slide on over there with your spirit because <laughs> the ego be wanting shit it don't even be needing and, and spirit will always lead you to that side that's going to help with your growth and help you learn you know what I'm saying and just be on a more healthier happier path so I hope y'all are going to have well let me not say hope I trust credit that to universal frequencies like getting out of that hope shit and just I trust that uh, y'all are gonna have a beautiful abundant fulfilled type of day all right y'all thanks again for tuning in thanks again to my new subscribers I really really appreciate y'all and I will be doing more videos soon all right y'all peace